Good morning, Viaduct, Modern School Pop 16. Today we're watching an ECA open match. This is going to be Boat 6v6 taking on Milters in the fifth fifth week of ECA. These two teams are some of the top teams in open at the moment. Um, this should be a pretty close match. I believe Boat is, what, 6 and 2? 6 and 2, and then Milters are 7 and 1. So definitely looking to be a good match. I'll go down the roster real quick because I'm not sure uh, how quickly they are going to ready up. So uh, looks like on boat we're probably going to see Boar and Spades on Scout. And they, no, I believe uh, Pistoltov is Boar. Yeah. Uh, Brick should be playing Roamer. Viper will be on Pocket. Right Justify playing Demo and Rogue on Medic. I think that's all correct. Um, just looking over here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then over on Milters, we got Jaker and, oh boy, <laughs> Fuk, 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 Fubiki? Oh man, I'm not good at Japanese. The one that starts with an F. We'll be playing Scout. He's, we, we see him on here, right? Yeah. Fubaki, Fubuki. Something like that, man. Ziozma? Jesus, this team. <laughs> Ziozma on Romer. Cybran on Pocket. Then Lights on Demo, and Callum SLG on Medic. Man, that's a terrible name full of people. <laughs> terrible team full of people who I cannot pronounce. Oh boy, that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, these teams look pretty good. Of course, we did cast Boat uh, much earlier on in the season. If you do remember, I believe they have switched up their soldiers. Because I'm pretty sure last time we saw um, the heavy... What's his name? <laughs> Brick on... Pocket while well, Viper was on Roamer. Uh, according to the roster, they have changed that now, so that could be interesting. These teams both uh, have a lot of wins under their belts, but not so much recently. Uh, in fact, they've all had all of their losses be most recent. And by that, I mean, you know, Milters are 7-1 and one in their last game they did lose, and Boat are 6-2. and two. Their last two games they did lose. So they've, they've been on huge uh, winning streaks, but both teams... Couldn't continue that the last week. And now one of these teams is going to have to continue on this losing streak. Uh, I'd have to give the favor to probably come on. Uh, come on is going to be Milters. That's their tag. I'm pretty sure I would say that they're the favorites for this match. They are one up. Um, both these teams have one loss to no Johns. Which is probably the best team in the central division of Open. That's pretty undeniable they're the only undefeated team at least so they're definitely looking very strong so far um but then we see boat also has one extra loss to uh egg salad dressing which is a team that come on has beaten so you look at that um they are also ranked a little bit higher on the power rankings that are uh, done by waimeo on the forums i believe he's ranked Boat as seventh and come on as third. So, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, both fairly close teams. I don't think it's gonna be a a huge role. And both of Boat's losses, of course, last week were on Badlands. Badlands not a Highlander map. Of course, Boat most known for their Platinum Highlander experience, where they're doing all right. I think the season they're two and two in Highlander. They won their last two matches. Um, they just played yesterday, I guess, because today is Tuesday. So. I believe they did win that match against, what was it, M-A-M? M, yep, M-C-M. Or Highlander stuff there. Anyways, looks like we've readied up. So we'll see what happens on the first mid-fight of the game. As they're just restarting. We heard the one. Is it this time? There we go. Match is live. Coming up with the first mid-fight of the game. ECA Open Season 22. This is Viaduct Week 5. Right Justify going to be... A little bit faster to mid than come on, uh, come on lights. We see Viper very aggressive onto the combo, and actually the other soldier follows him up, gets the medic down brick, but that's the only frag they've gotten. They lost both their soldiers now. Skill also going to go down, but a couple more from blue also falling. Now they kind of looks like Sprague's going to the favor, but they don't have enough health. It's just right justify live with his medic, and he's on very low health. He looks like the medic is going to get jumped rogue in a bit of a tough situation, but right justify gets with a nice sticky there on the cliff. So it looks like they are going to be able to survive and back up. So mid going to be probably going to the favor of blue team, I would assume. Um, but they're at a huge uber disadvantage, so I would expect to see is back, aka Boat, take this back very quickly. Vipa's already jumping up here, getting aggressive. They know they can. Brick also up on that 
China area. So now they're really just spamming a lot of rockets down. We see Cybrand's actually on the enemy flank, and Viper's going to jump around. He's kind of low. He's taking this 1v1, maybe. No, looks like he is going to jump Cybrand. Not really looking like he's going to get anybody there. We had the pickaxe out for a minute. The escape plan is going to go down. Meanwhile, the rest of the red team has aggressed on this. Looks like they have pushed the rest of the blue team down. Nobody really uh, went down. We do see, um, I believe that's Boar up on Sniper. This is a very sniper-friendly map. He did get lights. That's a great pick there. Onto the demo man, of course, Boar is uh, Platinum Sniper. So this should be interesting for him. Uh, Fubuki is also up on Sniper somewhere up on the enemy cliff. Looking to counter snipe now against this Boar Sniper. Definitely daring to try to snipe, uh, counter snipe a Platinum Sniper, but you know what? He's up to the challenge. So, you know, we'll see how it goes for him. Looks like no team really wanting to get aggressive just yet. They both have full uber. They're both really just waiting on their snipers. Um, but we do see Scout actually up here. Looks like they have gotten a lot of good spam. So, Scout's just standing on the point here. Finally going a little bit low. And the red uber was popped off. They're pushing forward with this. And the blue exchange did come out too. A lot of shots are ringing out by the sniper. I can hear him. But they're chasing him down with the blue uber. Looks like Scout is all the way in back here. Spades going to be that. Running back to the enemy spawn. Meanwhile, blue team has captured the point. They got a couple good picks there. Um, neither medic went down though, so that's pretty good. They did get the sniper, I believe. But he's still coming back up. Spades did get tinged down in the end back there. Cybran, the only dead member of the blue team, just respawning now. Actually, blue team look like they want to set up some bit of sort of a forward hold, but it's really not going well for them. Sniper is going to get jumped here by the soldier, and this probably isn't going to go well. Actually, maybe it is actually, yeah. Gluka is going to go down. So... That's going to be the red, the blue soldier, sorry. Actually, ah, uh, man, Sniper finally going to go down in Cybran, but that's two soldiers that had to die for that. Um, still, though, blue team do have their own Sniper, and he's not really hitting any headshots. Looks like Viper's going to go down as well as Callum. Callum's the big pick there. Did get destroyed by Viper, so great trade by him. Finally, we're going to get sniped down, as well as lights going down somewhere on the flank, so... Pretty good for them. They are finally going to be able to grab up here on the point. Spade's going to be trying to escape with his life again. He was back in there. Did got a kill that time on Fubuki, but he's going to die for it. Got the bleed damage with that melee weapon. Pretty good there. But, uh, yeah, looks like the has calmed down just a little bit. Scout tempting that point, but not going to happen. Brick is over here on the flank, and very equal so far in this game. Both teams almost exact same time. Going to be equaling out right now. There it goes. But blue team do not have control of the point, so their time's not going to be taken down with the red is. Again, we just hear these sniper shots ringing out. But uh, they're not getting any frags just yet. Finally, as I say that, Gluka does go down. That's going to be a good pick. The red uber was popped forward. His lights also goes down. The sniper's doing a lot of work for the red team. Now he's got he's on a 2k at the moment. But Rogue's in a bit of a dangerous position. He is going to be saved by his team. It's only Callum Alive is trying to run back to his team. Looks like he has made it back to spawn. Viper was kind of chasing, but not going to happen for him. He is hiding in a little bit of a sneaky spot. Looks like they are coming this way too. Spamming these ciggies. I don't think that hit him. Oh, they didn't see him at all. Oh, he's on the medic now. He got two good rockets there, Viper. Excellent job. Is going to die to lights, but very good pick by him. Now they're looking for the counter sack as the soldier's jumping in here. Rogue not going to go down to that. Hopefully, we do see more people just going down. Rogue's very low. He needs to not die. Cybran does get him with the last rocket there. Good job by him. He's still alive, too, in this house. Probably not going to live for long. No, he did not have very much health. It's right, Justify does clean him up there, but... Wonder if we'll see anybody aggressive at this point. Nobody's really over here. I guess we do see Boar watching over this, so they probably don't want to do that just yet. There's a sticky trap on Boar as well, just to protect him. His demo is up there. We see Guka is going to be jumping up here. Ah, oh, come on, lights did go down again. <laughs> Guka going to kill himself when he dies for that sniper. Probably worth it. I mean, Boar is definitely a force to be reckoned with on this map. They are pushing forward now. Actually, they're getting a lot of good damage. Another scout went down for the blue team, and they're just pushing across as a team. Callum's very low. He's very low. He needs to reconnect back with his team. He needs to not go down. He does get the pack, so he's fine. But there's only three seconds left on the clock. It's going to go into overtime here because there is a little bit of time at the point. But now soldiers are jumping out. They need, though. It looks like Cybran is going to go down. He's being dominated at the moment. We do see a red team's getting a little bit passive here. They did lose one. Of course, and now they're taking a lot of damage. Well, Brick also going to go down, but now Boar is back up onto Scout. Looks like maybe, no, he is very low. He's going to be able to survive there, thankfully. Viper is behind the enemy team right as the blue Uber does get popped off, and they capped that point. I believe Viper forced that medic, uh, I think is what happened there. So, full Uber charge now for the red team. They have a minute and a half to push this. This is not looking good for, come on. And here we go. Rogue just barely popped that in time, and he's flying all over the map. 
manages to find Brick, but they are pushing forward now. Board did get one. Brick also gonna get shot down by the Medica. Unfortunately, Red Justify is a little bit low, but they're halfway on the point. Blue Team needs to get on this. They need to stop it. There's not very many fracking classes alive. It's only one soldier on the Medica. Gluco trying to do something. He does go down, unfortunately, and the scouts are gonna be alive to cap this up. That's gonna make it 1-0 for Boat 6v6 so far. And definitely not how I expected, but I guess I didn't really consider the sniper factor. Of course, Boar is going to be very strong on this map, playing sniper. He is on scout at the moment. He was for the latter half of that last match as well, but this is definitely a strong sniper map. And if Boar can be hitting these headshots tonight, that's going to be huge. Gluke going to be the first one going out on the second mid-fight of the game here. We see Viper is now getting a little bit aggressive. He is going to get one more there. Looks like two are down, but Viper is going to die for that. As Jaker also goes down, so probably not going to be going in favor of Blue Team. We do see Brick is up on the enemies now. Not going to happen, though. They are going to be able to back up into spawn. But we might see a bit of a forward hold come out. It looks like maybe we do see... Oh, no. Boar is hiding again. He decides he's going to take this soldier, but Gluka is kind of in an awkward spot. Yeah, he's just going to back up, saying he doesn't want to take that. So probably the smart move there. As we see, just more spam coming down here. Cybran is in this connector area, but he's being spammed out. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get forward on that. And we'll see just a lot of spam going down here on Viaduct. Of course, this is a very spam-heavy map. Cybran's very low. He almost got hit by that rocket. Is going to be chased down by Spades. Excellent job by him to be able to get that back out. Fortunately, they did lose Viper as well. Now, actually, a couple frags are going down. We did see another scout just die there. As the blue Uber does get popped, followed by the red one. They are just kind of shiny players. Look at the shiny players. Looking to get some sort of pick here. Nobody really dying. Finally, right, Justify does go down this Uber exchange. Looks like Red Team needs to get out of here. They're not winning this. Oh, as I say that, though, they do just get Brick 3k there. Excellent job by him. As they are just going to be able to hold on to this. I didn't think they were going to win that exchange, but Brick coming out with a big 3 rocket, 1 kill. Or, 1 kill. One rocket, three kill, rather. Gluku going to be chased all the way up to his grass. Viper going to not let that happen, but is going to be shut down by Fubuki as well, so. All right, fair enough. Looks like, again, blue team still hasn't had control of this point at all. We see Spades actually taking that one-on-one -on -one, is going to win it. Uh, and again, Boar hitting that headshot. He is back up on Sniper onto Cybran. Looks like most of blue team, again, going to be going down Jaker. Just the Sniper is so strong. Gluka is now up. He's very low, though. It looks like he almost got rogue, but it's going to get piped by right justify. So, man, a lot of just people dying on the blue team. I believe that's a boar. I, I could be wrong, but I'm like 90% sure that that's a boar. So, Platinum Sniper, Viaduct Sixes, certainly provening, provening his strength. Provening. Gluka getting a little bit low there. Looks like Cybran... Wants to get a little bit aggressive. Again, Fabuki goes down to the sniper. It's just too strong. Boar cannot be shut down at the moment. Another shot rings out. Looks like Spades is going to go down the scout partner, however. And this is going to allow Blue Team to get a lot of room. They are pushing forward with the Uber Charge. Looks like the counter pop did come over with the red team, but now they're focusing these un-Uber players. Viper to go down the fight, but now it's just these red players aggressing. Callum is going to survive, and there's not a lot of red players alive at this point. We did see the sniper just go down and Rogue's going to be trying to back up, but he is trying to fight a scout 1v1. He's very low. Not going to happen, unfortunately. Spades trying to get back up in time, but not going to happen as his med does die anyways. And we now we do see the counter sniper again. We saw him out a little bit earlier. Fubuki is up here, so we'll see. Finally, point is in, but a lot of time in favor of Boat, and this is not looking good for the blue team. Come on. They're just not having too good of a game right now, Milters. Now they could get this momentum, however. Um, they don't have Uber Charge. It looks like Callum just has no charge at all. Finally healing. And we do see a couple frags going down here. Um, this looks like mostly just a sack from the red team, but they've gotten a lot of picks with it. It's three on three at the moment. If Boar can hit like a crazy headshot here, that'd be pretty huge. This guy's actually jumping up above Jaker. They do know he's here, and he gets Fabuki. Oh man, the counter snipes are just too strong from Boar. Jaker now a little bit caught out from the stickies is going to go down to right justify as he tries to escape. And that's going to be the point for sure going in favor of Red Team. They had that faster respawn and they were able to get that. Viper actually very fast jump here. Going behind, not going to get anything unfortunately. No, he does get Cybran actually uh, in the post-death kill. Spade's also going to go down unfortunately, not getting anything behind. And actually, oh finally, Boar does get counter snipes. So Fubuki doing work on the sniper class now. But there's not a lot of time. They have to cap this. They probably will, I would assume. But the Red Uber is going to get popped off. They're going to try to not let that happen. They're pushing forward with Brick. They're getting a lot of damage onto the normal man. But really not much else. Looks like Red Justify went down in that. 
And blue team still hasn't popped. Of course, they didn't have, but really, they uh, they kept that point. And nobody on blue team managed to stand on it. So, unfortunate for them. 2-0 in the first half so far. Boat coming out very strong. And I really think it is just Boar on this map. Of course, they're also Highlander players. They know this map very well. Very popular map in Highlander. And very good aggression coming out so far. Viper very low. Not going to pay off for him, unfortunately. But Gluka did go down. I believe that was the enemy soldier now. So they are pushing forward a little bit more. Boar did go down as well as Brick. This is definitely not going to favor the red team. They are going to have to back out. Rogue very low as well. It's going to be able to get the pack. And they're going to be back up into their spawn. So another... Another strong mid for the blue team. I think we have seen them winning most of the mids. I know they won the first one, so this definitely isn't looking fantastic for the red team. But, you know, they can definitely back bounce bounce back from this as Gluka's going to go down. A little bit caught out. Some fast aggression from the red team. Now, Right Justify is spamming up towards the top area where they all kind of are. Looks like Fubuki's going to go down as well. So now they're just trying to get back onto their own side because they've lost a couple players and they really don't want to be caught out here. I think they are. Looks like the Medic is going to be forced to pop, but he's dropped a lot of players, three already, so they're going to be doing their best, but Red Team also has Uber Charge. Spades went down in that, but really, I think Red Team has the numbers, and they have a lot of damage down as well. Brick's going to trade there for Cybran, so I think Cybran hit like a crazy air shot there. Might have just been off the wall, but still, really nice shot as he's spamming down onto this grass, and actually looks like Boar is in, not playing that Sniper class, unfortunately, not working out for him. Might want to go back to that, I think, and the Medic is going to go down. Borg got a lot of good damage, and Viper able to clean that up. Great job as Gluka does finish him off, but not fast enough. Now, as long as Rogue can survive, this should be very good, but he does have a soldier on him. He's surfing beautifully back into his spawn, so he should be fine. Point going to go in favor of the blue team, but red team has a full uber charge advantage, so they should be able to push back out fairly quickly. Not full advantage, I guess. Only about 50-60%, but still... Very strong. Looks like they are going to be looking to push out of this as a team. Hopefully get some frags. Blue team playing this a lot more passive than they did the last holds. I think that's definitely smart. They're not all up on the enemy China like they were last time. Brick getting a little bit aggressive in the connectors. The Uber does get popped. This rogue is thrown up into the air. They're charging forward now. Of course, Column only has 50%, but he's very low so far. Not going to look like he's going to die. Maybe Spades is chasing, but it's not going to happen. The soldier is in Viper. Not going to get him either. Unfortunately, 19 health at the end. And again, this is uh, the exact opposite situation now. Red Team used that Uber. They got forward boat. They managed to get a couple good frags, which allowed them to get the point, but they didn't get the medic. And now they're at this huge Uber disadvantage. Right Justify is trapping the wrong angle as they're coming up onto uh, Cliff, and they already have 100% Uber charge. They're looking to pop this, maybe. Red Team really needs to get them to force this. They don't want to give this up for free. And uh, Right Justify is actually very low. He did get one rocket, but he surfed it very nicely. Looks like he's going to be fine for now. Scout going to be trying to do something. Viper did go down somewhere in that. I think he was trying to force the medic. I'm not sure if he did force. No, looks like he still has 100% uber charge. So, blue team managed to get that without even popping. Jaker again, trying to kill this medic. They want to keep their uber advantage, but it's not going to happen. And the red team actually did get forced. So, they're popping forward, but they don't have a very good uber charge. Looks like blue team is a lot better now. They're trying to get something with this, but it's not going to happen. Cybran's already on the medic. Is able to clean that up as he's jumping away, too. He might even escape this. this is Pipes are flying around him. Looks like Cybran is going to live after that, too. So this round's going disastrously for Boat Team. Oh, uh, this is not looking good for them. They only have two minutes on this clock and really down to 50 seconds. Viper's actually jumping very quickly, however. He isn't really hitting his rockets, unfortunately. He's going to go down to Cybran. So now we are going to see Red Team. They're going to try to do their best. They have 45 seconds now to cap this point. And then they need to keep it for two minutes and 16 seconds. So this is not looking good for them, but it's definitely possible. Now the actually scout is up on this demo, right? Justify, he's not looking good. He's very low. He's going to be chased off by some scouts. Looks like slight uber advantage is, of course, the blue team. Gluka and Brick going to trade there up on the enemy cliff. Light's also aggressive here, but Viper's up on Spy. This is his main in the Highlander, so this could be very interesting. He's coming up behind the Medic right now. They don't see him at all. He swings. He misses, though, and the Medic actually pops his Uber to not die to that Spy. That's very good, but he did get the Force off now, and it's only 75% for Rogan. He's a little bit out of position. He is going to get shot down by the scouts. It's only Brick alive for his team back on... The, uh, oh no, that's not Brick. But Brick is up here. Again, not gonna live. This Jaker gets him down. Right Justified, doing the best he can. Probably not gonna happen for him, though. He is gonna go down. And, uh, we do see Melters getting around on the board. That was a very strong mid by them. <laughs> and the key was we didn't see very much Boar Sniper. Um, I don't know. I feel like Boar should stay Sniper. Maybe not for these mid fights, but, um, yeah. <laughs> that's really been their, their main card on this map here so we'll see what happens in the fourth mid fight of the game we do see boar up on these crates getting a little bit aggressive nobody super aggressive early at least we'll see which soldiers want to jump first 
Looks like Cybran is in the enemy connector, but he's going to be forced out. No frags down so far, as the control point's already being capped out by the red team. And finally, Viper going to be a little bit aggressive, but Gluka going to counter jump him now. Jake going to be first one to go down. Brick also followed by Boar, so here we go. Cybran very low is going to go down. He's going for something, but he actually does get enough damage for Fabuki to follow that up and kill the frag onto the medic there, so... Now they are looking for that counter medic pick. The demo's jumping in. He actually got the force out on him, so that's definitely good. They would rather the kill, but not bad. They also managed to cap the point in that fight, so that's going to be uh, pretty good for the red team overall. I mean, they definitely lost that, and their medic did definitely die, but I thought that was a very good... That was probably the best way they could have lost that mid. So Brick very low, as other than their medic surviving. <laughs> Brick maybe, yeah, is going to be taken down by Jaker on his cliff. And now Viper is going to be jumping up. But a lot of blue players are aggressive. Actually, Boar hits another nice headshot onto Jaker. So they're pushing forward. As Blue have lost two already, but they're getting some good frags as well. Brick just respawning now as Viper's charging in. Does get the demo man. And Callum's all alone. He's one soldier, but he's all the way up with the enemy's grill. Going to be trying to get, does look like he's going to get Boar before dying himself to Viper. So that's going to be red team for sure. But getting this point back up, maybe Cybran's going to contest it. They don't have full uber, but they have a slight add. Looks like it's not going to happen. Viper's going to get aggressive, though. He wants this. Looking to get this meta pick. He's almost got one. Did get the second one before dying himself. Excellent job by Viper. Soldiers have been doing a lot of good work this game. Medics have not been surviving on either side, but... You know what? That makes it exciting. That one makes it exciting. Right Justify does get lights with the sticky trap. Now the scout is in, looking for some sort of pick. And does actually get the medic to drop. Rogue goes down. Oh, no. That's not good and. Boar also goes down. They did get a couple good frags with that, but man, Cybran just going down as well. Spades. Looks like Jaker actually was building, but still going to be able to take down Brick as he jumps in there. Viper on the flank. Not going to commit to that. Man, I didn't think that scout would hit that. He had a really nice meat shot, I think, to get that, like, just like 100 damage or something and drop the medic. Rogue. Not a drop he wants, but you know what? Not the worst drop you've ever seen. Viper again getting a little bit aggressive. We do see a sticky trap over here. That might get somebody. We did just see a sticky trap. And uh, actually, Gluka going to get sniped down by Boar. He is up on Sniper, but it's not really going well for them. At least not uh, enough to win the game yet. As they are getting a lot of good aggression. They got a lot of good kills. And actually, Lights just got two with the sticky trap. I believe that was a sticky trap. Gets another one as well. Right, Justify. Lights doing so much work here. Man, gets a... Th is this the fourth one? Was that a 4K? Might have been, man. Cybran going to be trying to kill Boar, but Boar is going to be able to escape with his life. Excellent job by the blue team. Now they're going to be... They have full uber charge. They have control of this point. They have a minute and a half to go. This is looking like another good round. But actually, I heard the blue team yeah, did pop their uber off. They're going to be trying to get p kills now as long as Rogue doesn't die. But we do actually see Cybrand's coming in. He's actually at the enemy spawn. Not sure what his plan is. The scouts are chasing in now. And actually, this is very bad. Semitic all alone. But he finds the soldier who's waiting back there. Excellent job reading that situation. Brick managed to kill him. But man... Rogue is going to go down and, and all of that. Um, we did see blue team get forced, but they didn't go down. Brick also dying. 60 seconds. This is not looking good for the boar team. The boar team, I just call them. Boat team. The sniper magic's wearing off. His Gluka does go down, so that's something for them. This needs to be the push. They're at an uber disadvantage, but they know they need to go. They only have half... A minute left to push this in. So here they go with this aggression. They are getting a couple good frags, but they've lost two as well. And now they're just bleeding. They're losing so many. They do finally get one Viper, but he's all alone and he's going to die to the scout. There's only 20 seconds left as Rogue just decided to live there. Let's hope that was the correct decision. There's 15 seconds and it's not going to be overtime at this rate. So they need to go. There's only 10 seconds. I think they're wasting too much time at this point. Blue team has gotten aggressive. It's not going to happen. Maybe, actually, Boar is on the flank. He won the 1v1. He's going forward now, but it's not going to get there in time. It's the Medic's Ubercharge laughing on point. Milter's tying it up 2-2 two to two now. We have a game on our hands. Golden cap of the first half looks like, of course, winner of this is going to be 3-2 to two up in the first half. Halves are played first to three. At least the first one is. And Viper is coming on this flank inside. And actually, Blue Team going to be the ones to get aggressive this time. They're in really early. Siren is going to go down, unfortunately, for him. And a lot of players going down. Pislov as well. Right, Justify. The Medic is still alive, but he's got a scout on him. This is not looking good. He's very low. Does go down. Brick not able to save his Medic. He's trying to kill the scout. Might even be able to save himself. He's backing up, but there's no health back. And he's going to go down. Completely wiped. Thankfully, Callum did go down somewhere in that. But 
man, a full wipe is not what you want to see when it's 2-2 in the first half. So, nice sticky trap here. Oh, wait, where, where was it? Oh, up here. Okay. Still pretty good sticky trap by the demo man. We'll see if anybody goes that way. Looks like, oh, no, the combo's going that way. We'll see if they see it. They do see the demo man spamming, so they should hopefully look for that. Hopefully. Viper goes down on the flank. Yeah, they are going to rotate over. Okay, so that's good. They're now just going to be um, trying to push out of their own spawn. They don't have the advantage. Rogue, just go down. Demo man just standing up on China. That can't be happening, right? Justify also going to follow him. Finally, Lights goes down for that, but, I mean, he just did so much work before he died. Got the medic and the demo man. Almost full uber charge now for the blue team. Viper's jumping forward. Looking to get that med pick, but not liking what he sees. He's going to back up. And now red team are full strength. Light's just respawning now. And looks like they kind of want to aggress onto this. Of course, blue team do have full uber charge. So they could maybe hold this a little bit aggressively, but they do actually pop it off. We'll see what happens. They want to kill Rogue with this, but he's all the way back up there. It doesn't look like it's going to happen unless they can kill a lot more players. With the bricks very low. Well, he's not very low. Finally, he's going to go down there a little bit out of position. Rogue is all alone at the moment. Going to be just running back to spawn. Definitely the smart decision is Viper might survive here. He's backing up, but he does get the pack. Scout chased him down. Not going to happen, unfortunately. Jaker does clean him up, so... The bad news is almost every member of their team died. The good news for a boat is they have a slight uber advantage, 25 to 20%. Both teams are building as fast as they can. So I don't really know if this is pushable. They're going to try it. The medic is very passive, though. He's all the way back on cliff. Oh, he's getting a little bit more aggressive now, however, as he does have 90%. The other team does have now. Cybran goes down as well. This could just work for blue team. They get another frag. Both teams do have 100% uber charge. I think blue team just want to give this up. Looks like they are going to back out. So some good frags. I think Blue Team was a little bit disconnected. And Viper's in. Does get shut down by Jaker. He's doing a great job being defensive scout for his team. At least in that scenario. Brick is up on the enemy China. Hiding in the house. I don't think they know where he is. He's not very high health. They do have a sniper. And Brick's going to be able to call that. He's on the medic. He's looking for that pick. Actually, the pop does come out. As he gets a little bit scared. Fabuki going to clean him up with that body shot. But now they're going to be charging forward. Viper's up on heavy. Um, so they're going to be trying to do something here with that. He's just coming to the battle now. The blue uber got popped, but the red one also followed. No uber really got much. So the heavy off class versus the sniper off class. Viper can't be feeling too great about that. Because that's generally not something that's going to favor him. But, I mean, we'll see what's going to happen. Heavy definitely a force to be reckoned with. He's getting a lot of damage, but Sniper's just standing up on Rocket. Actually, the Soldier's coming in through flank. Doing a great job there. Is going to get mowed down by Viper, but down Jaker. Also going to go down, and this is not looking good. We do see Boar up in here on the enemy Sniper. Does pistol him down. Not When he's not even playing Sniper, he's one of the Sniper fights, man. <laughs> no, I don't think Fubuki's been doing that bad on Sniper. Um, you can't expect him to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Platinum Sniper that is Boar, but I think he's been doing really good. He did manage to kill Boar once, so that's... That's an accomplishment. As we do see Red Justify has another sticky trap up on these rocks. I believe that did get somebody once, so that could be very good. Boar's looking forward a little bit. Cybran looks like he wants to jump, but of course this could be where the sticky trap gets him. No, is not going to jump. At least not yet, anyways. It's still pushing forward. No sniper now for the blue team. We still see the heavy out from Viper. It seems to be working pretty well. The Highlander strats are coming out. Actually, Jaeger also going to go down there as the blue uber uh, does get popped, as well as the red one. They're pushing forward now. Fubuki went down as well. Again, these uber exchanges just aren't going in favor of the red team, or the blue team, sorry. They're going definitely in the favor of red team. Boar is actually going to die in that. He's trying to take the 1v1 with Gluka. Just managed to win that on his own grass. But yeah, this heavy really looking like it's working so far, at least. Surprised to see Vipe up on heavy rather than um, Brick. Of course, both playing soldiers. Brick, however, is a heavy main. We see Jaker actually goes down to Brick over in the flank. He's going to die for that, though, as he gets a little bit too aggressive after he gets that one frag. Scout going to lose the 1v1. Fabuki, two spades, the engineer. Pistolov is going to go down, however. That's a boar. And they're getting a lot of good spam down. I think they have just gotten a lot of room. Viper's a little bit disconnected from his medic, and that's not good for a heavy. But uh, they're picking up some frags as well. They really don't want to let them cap this point. I mean, there's 15 seconds. Blue team really needs to go right now if they want to cap this. They know they have to. But they really just cannot get the bodies onto this point. 
They just want to get this uber charge. The red uber gets popped. He's at 98%. Finally connects up with his demo man. He's going to be able to pop that back up. And there's so much time on point. Looks like this is definitely going to go to overtime. They're probably going to be able to cap this as well. As Pistol off to go down, but the heavy is still out in force. He's getting a lot of heals, actually. He managed to get one. Still going for some more. Actually, he's working out really well for him. He almost got the medic as well. Viper been doing so much work. Just got Jaker. Oh, man. This is not looking good for the blue team. They need to defend this for less than a minute, but Viper's on point, and he's being tanked. Brick jumping in, but also gonna die. Unfortunately, come on, finally, the heavy is gonna go down, but so many more of the blue team are looking for that medic saw, but it's not gonna happen. First half, 3-2 to two for both, and this is looking like an extremely close match. We didn't even see, uh, we didn't even see much of Boron Sniper that match, so, or that round, so. It's not just the boar that's, that's carrying them. Um, these two teams are very equally matched. And it's really just going to be who's having the better game tonight. And honestly, it's hard to tell. Like, they've both been playing extremely well. Both teams, I mean. Redding up immediately. They're both high on adrenaline. They both really want to go, so. Was that the ready up? Oh, I don't think it was. No. <laughs> Looks like they did unready. So, um, yeah. That was a very good first half. 3-2 to two now. <laughs> Looking at the scoreboard, of course, you don't have stats just at the moment. Um, I believe Gluka's the roaming soldier. I, I don't think he's on my roster that I got. Ziozma. Z Ziozma? Yeah. He's not here. So I guess Gluka's a little bit easier to pronounce. Man. Milters were predicted to win, at least by me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and I think the general consensus would have been that they were looking to win. Um, they have a little bit better of record. They were a little bit higher in the power rankings. And they've got a little bit more experience as well. You know, they've been playing as a full team for almost three seasons. I believe like five of them have been together for three seasons. And then one of them they just picked up last season. So only two seasons for him. But, you know, Boat66, of course, have been playing Highlander together for a long time. I'm not exactly sure on how long, but, you know, pretty long. Probably. They they all have a lot of experience in TF2. Maybe not necessarily sixes. You know, some some of them definitely do. I think, like, Spades this is his fourth season. And you got the other end of the spectrum, though, which is, like, Brick, which is his first season. So definitely a range of experience, I'd say, on Boat. And more of just a condensed, solid experience from Milters. For Open, of course. I mean... Generally, you know, four or three seasons is pretty good for open. And that is what most players on Milters have. Boat as well have a lot of players with that much experience. Um, you know, Spades, fourth fourth season playing. Uh, right Justify, fourth season playing. And then Rogue also his third season playing. So there's definitely not, not much experience on Boat. Especially when you consider in Highlander. But slightly more experience, I'd say out of the Milters team, just playing together as well. Um, they've almost exclusively played with each other. I think the I think there's like one player, I think like Jaker is the only member of the team who has any experience not playing in this team. So, you know, they've been together pretty solidly the past three seasons. And I'm definitely excited to see what the second half of this match brings. Of course, it is first to five, so both are going to be one up. In in this uh, second half here, they are going to have the advantage to go for the win. But it's certainly anybody's game. Like, Milters only need three rounds. They can give up one. Boat, on the other hand, only need two rounds. They can give up two. So, it's going to be close. All these matches I've cast recently have been so close. Like, the last one was close. I guess the one before that wasn't that close. But the one before that was. So, yeah. I'm glad we've been getting some good games here. Of course, I do uh, randomly generate which games I'm going to cast each week. With a bit of a bias towards games that do look closer. And we happen to get a very high skill match tonight. Two of the, of course, top teams in open. Uh, I'm not sure what their actual rank is in the season right now, but it's only week five. The overall rankings don't tell a whole story. For sure. A lot of teams still haven't played a lot of teams. Difficult to tell, really, the full seedings at the moment, but... Definitely these both teams are both up in there. 
probably both top eight. I I would say definitely these teams are both top eight in open. So here we go. Second half is live as we're coming out to the first mid of the second half. We'll see what goes down. Looks like Jaker actually be the first one here on scout. And no real aggression just yet. No team taking that initiative. A lot of spam going back and forth. See, actually now Viper going to be the first one to jump in here. A lot of damage down on the red team. Callum especially very low. Is going to be able to back up and get that pack. But looks like uh, no frags going down still, remember. Gluka is finally jumping up in here. Looking to make something happen. Rogue going to be the first one to go down there. It's going down to lights. And that's a huge pick now for the come on team. They're going to be able to resecure this point. Again, Boat just managed to cap this up before they went down. So now we're going to see blue team full uber disadvantage. They might send in like a big sack. Looks like it's going to happen. Viper jumping up, but he's really not finding anything. He's lost a lot of health. Rocket jumping. He's actually just going to get the pack. Finally lands one good rocket onto Callum, but he surfs beautifully up into the air. He's going to be fine. Meanwhile, he did get a lot of room, though. Looks like in the Crits Creek coming out, actually, from the blue from the red team. They got two already. Spades and Brick. Also, Borg going to be going down there. Excellent job with that Crits Creek. Got a lot of good picks. And they're gonna be they're gonna probably have a slight Uber advantage unless the other team's also on Chris Creek. No, boat are back on a regular Uber. I'm pretty sure they always were. So it's Chris Creek. It worked well once, but the question is, can they make it happen a second time? Board did go down. Got Siren as well. However, Fubuki also gonna go down. So this isn't looking good for the red team now. As Viper actually manages to get the medic there. That's a huge pick. And it looks like I'm lagging just like a little bit here. Pretty heavily, actually. Are we good? <laughs> what was that? Okay. Jake, you're going to go down. And, you know, in the midst of that lag, looks like Blue Team has managed to secure this point. Brick getting one more frag with that shotgun. Is Brick the roaming soldier? Man, I swear to God. They, s they say the Brick is their pocket. But I know he used to be the roamer. And he's running, or he used to be the pocket. They say the Brick is their roamer. But they, s they say he's the roamer. I don't know, man. I feel like he's the pocket. Because he's running shotgun. He used to be the pocket. He means heavy. Gluka and Jake are actually going down on the flank here. They're not going down just yet. And there they go. <laughs> Called it a little bit too early. But you know what? I was right. So it's fine. Brick going to get sniped down by Fabuki. Boar is also up on sniper, however. Viper going to get shot down by the medic. And now Fabuki really just trying to get these heals up. Actually does manage to counter snipe Boar with a quick headshot as he was standing up on the rock. So Fabuki putting in the work now as red teams can be re-aggressing. Definitely able to get on this point. They did get, I think, two picks there, but Callum has big uber advantage as well. I'm not sure that's not Chris Creek anymore, is it? No, it's not, so. All right, Justify also gonna get sniped. Fabuki. Was that his third one on sniper? That's big. Fabuki going really hard here. Right, Justify, oh my god, also going to go down. He was still on Sniper, but he's not having good luck here. Fabuki for sure. Doing a lot of good work, and the time is equal almost now. As Gluka's way too far deep. No, never mind, he's going to get saved again. Jaker going to get him. Spade's also going to go down. Just so many blue players are trying to push out, but it's not happening for them. We do see Borg getting hard pocketed here, looking for that counter snipe. On the Fabuki, just running away. Uh, I'm not sure the medic should temp that sight line like Boar did. Now Cybran's gonna be running in, but does go down. So it's one pick for the Bo for the blue team now. Brick is up, gonna trade for Gluka. And huge bomb in from Viper. Got the force off onto Callum as he dies, so that's good. Now, blue team are going to have a much better Uber. If they do pop this off, that is going to happen. It's right justified. Gets the Uber onto him. Now, Callum's gotten the Uber charge right off of him in a very bad position. He's being chased down. Got one. Yeah, is going to finally go down. Fabuki finally dying to bore as he picks him off just as that Uber fades. So, they're capping the point again, but actually, they're really good aggression for the red team. Never mind. They're all dying. All of them are dying, and only the medic survived through that. They did get Rogue, actually, so that's a huge pick. Um, a lot of people went down, though. Viper's up on Heavy. Now, I don't really agree with this now that their Medic's down. Uh, he's kind of looks like he's lost. That's fine, though. You can right-click to spin up your minigun. Maybe he's want to be sneaky. All right, that's understandable, I suppose. Um, 
Medic has respawned now. Heals are fine for blue. Brick gonna go down over on the flank. Gluka probably not gonna live. Come on, spades. <laughs> oh, with the melee does get him in the end. That's all that matters as red team are finally capping this up. Vipa going, trying to get some damage with this heavy. And actually some good aggression by Righteous Fight. Just gonna barely keep him off this point. But they just need to like, just step on it. And actually Jake are gonna clean up Right Justify as that aggression went a little bit too strong. As Fubuki does go down. Was he still on Sniper? He was. So, no longer winning these Sniper one-on-ones. Boar's been doing a pretty good job with that. Red Uber actually gonna get popped now. Looking for that pick on the Rogue. He doesn't have yet. Of course, only about 70%. He's very low. If Jaker focused him, he probably could kill him, but he's going for that medic instead. And now we see, or the sniper, rather, Jaker is finally going to go down. As Gluka's looking for something, maybe not going to happen. He's just going to back up, survive with this medic. And there's only seven seconds, but there's not a lot of time for Blue Team either. They're pushing forward. The direct hits actually out from Cyber and air shots the Uber player. And Gluka's just getting out there. Looks like Red Team are kind of giving this up. Maybe it's only Fubuki really here for the Fragging Classes trying to contest this. But now Red Team needs to re this. There's 30 seconds on the cart. Cart point, rather. This is not Highlander, despite the teams that might be playing as two. Blue players going to go down, and the Red Team managed to continue to get that aggression on the point. And uh, they're going to get it up 3-3 three to three now. Man, Milters have been doing a really great job that half. Well, this half, I suppose. The one round. Sure, sure. That works. A lot of spam again going down. Actually, Cybrand's getting very aggressive early. Not going to work out for them, however. He got caught out a little bit. It looks like the enemy soldier, or the same soldier, also almost followed his fate, but didn't just happen. And they're pushing forward with this. Looks like Blue Team have decisively won this. However, they are losing players. This Brick and Boar both go down. Charging forward now, of course, not on crits anymore. Not, not this time. Again, Blue Team are going to cap the point, but Red Team are going to be able to quickly regress onto this. Maybe not. Fubuki is focusing, I think, the wrong player in that. Doesn't manage to get a frag as he does go down. As the blue Uber is actually going to get popped off, followed by the red one very shortly. So, not able to get that medic pick, unfortunately. Spade's very low. Fighting an Ubered scout. Not going to work out for him. And actually, Rogue might be a little bit caught out here. Uh, does find the scout on the backside. Jaker going to be able to clean him up now. And this is not looking good. Also finds the demo man, Jaker. Gets the assist onto that one. But it's only Brick standing up on this point. He does have a couple friends scattered around as the scout does go back into spawn, it looks like. And, uh, I mean, I guess they're getting the frags. But, in the end, they just don't have the health. And Red Team is going to be able to hold on to this. Cybran's actually up on Spy now. That could be very interesting. As they're pushing forward. Actually got the medic just shot out of the air by the scout. Again, Boar doing a lot of good work here. Spades also gets one to the scout pair from the blue team. Just doing a lot of work now. Uh, I believe Cybran decided he wasn't going to stick Spy after that. Gluka did manage to die. So, Jaker also very low. Not going to survive. Gets taken down by Spades as they were going for that rogue pick, but didn't happen. Of course, Blue Team have huge uber advantage, and this is not looking good for come on this round. Definitely not going as good as the last one did. I'm not sure why it still says overtime on my screen. But I assure you that it's not overtime with 2 minutes and 20 seconds left to go. And Gluka, excellent rocket jump there. Now going to be jumping up here as Lights does go down. And this looks like what's to be a sack. They do get the force onto the blue team. And they're getting the frags onto the players. But that was just a full sack. We see Fubuki and Callum are all the way back here. They, they were not committed to that at all. Just sitting back in spawn building. Excellent strategy. And now we're going to see them push forward with a full uber charge. Viper, looking like he's not going to commit to that. No snipers out at the moment. Spade's a little bit cut out. Viper goes down, and this is not looking good for the blue team. They are just, they have to back out. They can't commit to this. Brick maybe looks like he wants to, but he's going to pay for it. He does go down. Pushing forward now. Red team, they didn't even have to pop for that, so that's pretty big. Blue team wanted to get something for sure, but actually Jaker and Glue could go down, and Spades dies for that, but... Right Justify doing excellent work. And actually, no, Rogue does go down. Followed by Right Justify and Viper. So many going down for the blue team. That might have been a full wipe. I think it was. Uh, yeah, this board does go down up here on the point. So. You know what? I, I kind of thought this was going to be just slippery slope this round for come on. But they've been doing good so far to reclaim this. Actually, Brick just standing on this point does manage to get it. But right before he dies, 
That's definitely good. That's just going to be more time ticking down as the rest of the root, uh, red team is going to be pushing back up on here. Right Justify is very low. And uh, Rogue's all alone. Just going to be running back in the spawn, however, as he just lets his demo man die. Definitely the smart thing to do. Viper's all the way behind at the moment. They definitely know he's back there. They're looking back. And he's just he's just waiting to spawn camp. Uh, Jake are coming up on heavy, however. And we did see Cybrand come back. Not going to happen. He was out in the open. I'm not sure what he was thinking for that. But not the smart play by him is Brick. Looking to peek just a little bit. No. And this is quickly. I mean, they don't have the time right now. But, I mean, is back. A.K.A. Boat. Really need to get aggressive with this. But you see the Boar Sniper. So this could be very powerful. Peeks out. Doesn't hit that first one. He gets Callum with the headshot. Oh, man. The Sniper coming out of Boar. Viper's going to go down. That's the, exactly the pick he needed to land right there. He is going to die by a good bomb by the soldier. And actually, also Rogue going to get forced. So now, it uh, wasn't actually as good as they wanted it to be. They're probably going to be able to get the point with this. They're pushing forward. Jaker is the only one really here defending. But he's very low. He might die for that. No, he's able to get out. Man, that pick by Boar. Just very clean. Just jumps out and hits that headshot. Fabuki looked for something, but didn't manage to get it. We'll see what he comes up on. Boar actually going to respawn on scout. So not staying on that sniper class. And it looks like a lot of damage actually coming out onto Gluka. It's going to go down on the flank. Jaker also very low in this grassy area. He's fine for now, though. Viper getting a little bit low, but he's okay. See Spades just getting a lot of spam down. And there's only 30 seconds. 48 seconds for the other team. So this is coming down to the wire for this round. Brick actually very low. Is just going to go down. Gluka going to be able to clean him up there. And most of the blue team is playing kind of passively. I don't really know. They're scattered about. This isn't good for them. Finally, they do kind of have a core combo here. But really, I mean, what's going on? Gluka backing out. None of the red players have gone down to this. Finally, Boar also dies. And I'm really not sure what just happened. I guess they were too spread out. Blue team, they they were very passive. I mean, they didn't lose their medic, but... Spade's going to go down there. There's a lot, not a lot of time. I think they probably could have come out of that and maybe coming out on top. But who knows? Here's the repush coming. They are one up with lights just falling there to Viper. And they're going to be jumping forward here. The pop is going to come out of the blue team, followed shortly by the red team. And they're going to be trying to do something... Eight seconds on the clock. They need to get time on to this point, really. Brick goes down. This is not looking good for Boat Team. They're trying to get the frags. Finally, do they do get one? Two now. Jaker also going to go down. They're standing on the point. It's going pretty well, actually. As most of Red Team have backed up, but they're still not done contesting it. Finally, the point does turn blue. And now it's only one player alive in terms of fragging. It's just Lights is going to come back up. This isn't good. There's only six seconds. It's going to go into double overtime, maybe. As Red Team looks pretty strong. It is double overtime now. It's just whoever can cap this or keep it. And it looks like Red Team are killing a lot of frags here. It's only Boar alive. He's trying to do something. He's just dying, though, unfortunately. Viper is now jumping in. He's trying to get some frags. They need to continue to stay on this point. They can't let him cap it. He's going to go down. That's going to be... 4-3? I believe. 4-3? GG's coming out. It's first to four. Viaduct is first to four. Man. That's going to be it, then. I completely forgot Viaduct was first to four. Yeah, I guess it is. So that's going to be very narrow defeat of Boat Team. Excellent job by Milters. They were predicted to win. They were down one in the first half, but managed to pull it back very well. Thank you so much for watching. Mine's Corn Pop 16. Probably going to see some more Viadux casts in the next couple days. Probably going to upload them all at the same time, though, so probably available right now. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.